Oh, welcome back everybody to Minecraft Bedrock Edition Grim Versus Season 2. So, our armor broke, so we had to get some new stuff. So, let's get Fire Aspect. Hmm, I would have been better with the uh, previous sword with the Bane of Arthropods because we are fighting the Endermite. So, if you guessed that in the comments, congratulations. All right, so that is on. Let's turn that off to make sure they're spawning. Give it a minute. Let's see. We're in survival, of course. And all right. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Oh, the golem's probably kicking their butts right now, I bet. <laughs> they probably came in here. Yep. Okay. So uh, we'll see if we can last longer than we did in season one. But of course, with the golem here. He's going to be a nuisance, so let's go ahead and just take him out now. Uh, there we go. All right. And give these guys a little bit of a chance to fight me and win, but I doubt it because that beacon. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, yep. Our, uh, I was questioning whether the enchantments actually took levels in the last one, but they did because we're at 54, so that's good to know. Let's try to get up to, like, well, I've got to have at least 5 or 10 or something for the enchantments. We can just stand here because the beacon's going to regen us. These guys hit a little bit harder than the uh, inner, or the silverfish, don't they? Yeah, they take like a, wow, they take a decent amount of damage. Okay, so we're going to do the same, kind of same concept. Just let them beat us up for a minute. You know, damage our armor. Uh, okay, just want to make sure they're not destroying it because I did lose my helmet doing this with the silverfish. So... All right, there, we got enough of them in here. We don't need, like, 700, like, the silverfish. Maybe we do. So, <laughs> do, do, do. I might, you know, I might switch from, oh, I would say I could switch from spawners to just doing command blocks and doing the summon, but I don't know how many I would need to keep up with this because, like, the monster spawners work pretty decent, but now that I'm playing with command blocks, kind of like the summon golem command, I could have it just... I, I originally accidentally put it on uh, always active, and it spams so many golems, so I don't want that to happen with mobs. But I might have to look into it where it summons it every second or something instead of waiting 10 to 40 seconds, the whatever big gap there is in between the monster spawners. Because I don't feel like adding, you know, 20 monster spawners or 50 monster spawners because, uh, I, I don't know, we might still have like a big gap. Whereas with the command blocks, I could just set it up to, you know, every one second or every two seconds or whatever I felt like it. Uh, like maybe with the easier mobs like these. Well, I guess maybe not technically these, but like the silverfish and those. We could set it up for every like second so they just non-stop wham 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 but i would like to also get the uh entity count or entity kill count total kill count uh set up too for that command so it can tell me like oh yep you killed seven endermites or you killed 17 billion <laughs> uh you know wandering traders there we go nice and we didn't even have to let the golem kill us all right, so that's the end of this episode. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please comment on what is the next mob or monster that we may be fighting. Um, I truly appreciate all you guys that take your time to watch this and watch all my other content and support me. And again, if you're new here, please subscribe. I truly appreciate you guys. Let's get up to the uh, subscriber count for this month. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode. Bye.